Hi guys, in this one, this video, I'm thinking it'll be the last one for iOS at least. So we're actually going to upload our app to the App Store. Okay, so in the last one, last video, we just got the launch screen and the app icon screen. And those were necessary before we could uh, upload to the App Store. So we've got everything done now. We just got to do it. Okay, so I'm assuming now you have an Apple developer ID. Okay, if you don't... Um, Apple developer ID. It's $99 a year, unfortunately, um, but you need to purchase one to go any further at this point. Okay. All right. So now that you have your Apple developer ID, hopefully you need to Google App Store Connect. Okay. So we'll go to the App Store Connect that's um, offered by Xcode. It's basically a place to look at all your apps. So um, all your apps that you make will be here in my apps. You can look at app analytics, like who's downloading, uh, how well you're keeping your audience, sales and trends, that kind of stuff. So this is a good place to be. So I'll click on my apps. All right. And you won't have anything here. Um, but what you need to do to create a new app is click this big plus. All right. And then new app. Okay. Got to fill out this form. We're develop developing on iOS. The name of my app will be Friendly Fitness. Okay. Language is English. Bundle ID. Okay, here, choose XC wildcard. All right. And then your bundle ID suffix. This is important. You should do something like org dot your name. So I'll say like Sandberg. Okay, that's my last name. Org dot Sandberg dot Friendly Fitness. Okay, that's a pretty good uh, syntax to follow. Do org dot your name dot name of the app. All right. Um, and then SKU, you just have to put in something here. And then you would go ahead and click create. Now, uh, let's see. Over here. Choose. Okay, so you might need to go to this developer portal. Okay and uh, download a certificate for your account. So I'm not gonna cover that, but there's videos out there. Uh, if it's your first time with d developing with Apple and Xcode, I think you need to go click on this developer portal. It'll take you to this page over here called iOS certificates. And you need to pr pretty much make a certificate for yourself so you can tell the app store that it's you who's trying to you know, put the app on the app store. Um, so you create a certificate there and download it. Uh, okay. So you can YouTube how to do that, like YouTube, uh, how to create iOS certificate, something like that. And you'll figure it out. That's what I did. But since I've already done it, I don't know how to go back and review it for you guys. So, um, if you have trouble with that, look around, there's info. Okay. So org.sandberg.friendlyfitness. All right. And then you would click create. And I've already made mine, so I won't. All right. Um, but let's go into what I have created already. So this is what it will look like. So now remember that uh, identifier that you made? This bundle ID, org.sandberg.friendlyfitness. So back in your Xcode app, let's go up here. That's what this bundle identifier needs to be. All right. So I'll change this. It's org.sandberg. Okay, so now it matches. That's good. Otherwise, you won't be able to publish your app. Okay. And now we need to scroll down a little bit. And we have to click this requires full screen uh, checkbox. Otherwise, we'll get an error when uploading. Okay, so that's really important. This requires full screen. All right. So now all we need to do is make sure we're trying to build on a generic iOS device here. All right, and then I go over to product and then archive. So product archive will basically get our app ready to be submitted. Okay, and then once it's ready, it'll open up this window here. All right, this is like that, I forget what the name of this window is, like archive window maybe, something like that. Okay, and then you can just go ahead and click Distribute, distribute your app and that'll actually get it uh, on App Store Connect. So it'll be over here 
and you'll be able to sort of release it from the abstract connect area here. Or uh, you can just do validate app. That won't put it on the abstract connect, but it'll make sure everything's working, okay? So you can click that. Uh, let's go through. Everything here in, in validate will be the same as in distribute. So it's gonna do some thinking and okay, upload your crash diagnostics. Definitely keep this automatically managed signing. Definitely keep that. Otherwise it's a big headache for you. And it'll do some more thinking. And then it shows you what you're distributing. Okay, this is my app. Uh, if you see a bunch of like files here that end in .so, .o, I've seen that before. Uh, it's an error and you can, there's, there's a fix for it on the Kibi iOS, you know, GitHub issues page. So any errors at this point, Google it, you'll figure out the answer, okay? I had errors in the past, uh, not anymore with the newer Kibi iOS distribution, but it's possible to work through, okay? So then you hit validate, and it'll think for a while, and either give you an error, maybe you need to set that full screen, like I talked about a little bit earlier. Remember, maybe you forgot to click this requires full screen checkbox. Or otherwise, you'll probably get through and be okay. So I know my app works, so I'll go ahead and click distribute and go through the iOS app store and we're gonna upload. Okay, and now it's just gonna go through the same process. So I'm gonna skip ahead. Next, manage signing automatically. Okay, so my app has successfully uploaded it says. Okay, so let's go back to App Store Connect. You could press that button, or I have it open here already. So I'm in my Friendly Fitness app. So now you could go over to Prepare for Submission. So this tab lets you literally put it on the App Store. Um, you need to put in some like previews of your app. You need to write some descriptions and a support URL, that type of stuff, okay? Uh, and an icon. All right, so you can figure that out on your own, I'm sure. So, but I'm gonna do something called Test Flight, which lets me beta test all of my apps with my friends or coworkers, whatever, my team. Okay, so it might take a little bit, uh, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes have passed since my app, since, this, since I got this screen here. Okay, so it might take a little bit, but now my build is processing here. Okay, so that's what I just uploaded. And when it's done processing, then you can add some external testers, uh, App Store Connect users. Yeah, so, so here you can <clears throat> add users that you wanna be able to beta test your app. Um, and then you can, they can download it, okay, using Test Flight. So that's the tool. Some test information here. To start testing builds, provide the following information. All right, so you need to write a little bit about your app and then hit save and it should be fine. Okay, so this is the key, test flight to beta test your apps with your friends. Um, and then all the, build, all the builds that you submit go here. So if I made some updates to my app that I was working on, then I'd have to go back to Xcode and I would need to change the like version or the build number because you can't have two uh, two builds with the same version and build number. So say I made some changes, I changed what my app looks like, I put 1.2, and then I go through the process of product archive again, and then I would go through the same process here, okay? Um, and then another build would show up here in this area uh, to work with. Okay, so I think I might call it for this video. I didn't, I didn't show exactly what to do, but really you can just play around here and you'll figure it out. So hopefully this has helped you guys. Uh, and once you're happy with your app, go over here to prepare for submission and get your app on the App Store, okay? Hopefully you guys are successful. Let me know in the comments or something if this was a helpful series. Uh, if you post any apps, Feel free to put it in the comments so people can see it or you can just be proud of your work. 
All right. So thanks for sticking along with me throughout this whole thing. And stay tuned for more videos. Bye, guys.